Oh. Oh. Hello everybody. Hope you're all okay. Well this is our second video today, yeah, it's a special one. Because I'm going to do uh, 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 something different. It's a bit like the fan mail, but uh, I'm going to call this Can You Hear Me Mother? Because what I'm going to do is, instead of the fan mail letters, I'm going to get phone calls on my mobile phone from my fan mail to talk to me on the phone instead of the letters. So this is a new series. It's called Can You Hear Me Mother? Can you hear me, mother? Can you hear me? Uh, and it's just a, set, a phrase what used to wear. Uh, they used to have long ago. Uh, so this is a new series called Can You Hear Me, Mother? Uh, phone calls from my uh, uh, fan mail. Right, have you got your pot of tea? Ooh. Can you see... Uh, Marcus and Ruby, the grandchildren, uh, hope they're doing all right. Oh, lovely. Right, we've got someone here. We've got Jimmy Jew. Hello, Jimmy Jew. We haven't seen you for a long time, have we, Jimmy Jew? What have you been doing? He said he's been going to the gym, using weights and that, and training and on, on treadmill and all sorts. He's trying to get fit because his girlfriend says he needs to start losing weight and start being a bit more. You know, muscular. She said they might go on holiday to Benidorm next next year. When they can save up and get a bit more money, isn't it, Jimmy Joe? What is it you've been reading today? Because, uh, what's that? You believe in... You believe in all children should read books? Yes, Jimmy Joe, uh, they should. Or instead of using laptops and computers and, and, and phones, they should all start reading books. Yeah, they should. And what book are you been reading, Jimmy Joe? He said it just, just, he's moving about. Just, just a minute. I'll show, show uh, people. He's reading this book here. Just a minute. He's reading this book here, Jimmy Jew. It's it's called Peter Rabbit Friends Forever. Here's book review. That's the back of it. So all children out there start start going to the library and reading books. Go to your school library, get a book out. So that's Peter Rabbit, Friends Forever. Right, Jimmy Joe, uh, I'll leave you to read your book, Peter Rabbit. And we must get on with, uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me, mother? With, with to the children and the adults. Thank you. Wasn't that nice to see Jimmy Jew again, eh? Wasn't it nice him there reading books, starting reading books, Jimmy Jew? And he's, he, we haven't seen him for a while because he's been going to the gym and getting fit and starting to pump up, pump up iron to impress his girlfriend for when they go to Benidorm in, uh, next year on holiday. Just have another drink of tea. Now, a lot of fans of mine said they've missed me. Uh, they've missed me fan mail. Because uh, I knocked it off. And I told my fans I weren't going to do any more fan mail. Uh, 
Uh, but uh, I've decided to do this. Can you hear me, mother? And uh, look out for... That's going to be good. I'm going to get over to my friend Rodney. Look out for these videos coming up because he's going to do some new poetry. And I'm not too sure whether uh, me and Rodney are going to sing a uh, song uh, on Ilky Moor by Tat. Do you know that one? On Ilky Moor by Tat. On Ilky Moor by Tat. On Ilky Moor by Tat. Where have the been since I saw thee? On Ilky Moor by Tat. That song. Well, I don't know what words, but I think Rodney's going to get words. And we're going to do that and some poems. Right, our first call today on Can You Hear Me Mother is uh, a young chap. He's from Liverpool. He's a Liverpool fan. And what he wants to know is uh, should he, uh, should he uh, have a, a full uh, season ticket because uh, he's just started going to see Liverpool at Anfield. But he only got, he's only got going now and again and he's really thinking of getting the season ticket. And would that be cheaper than that for him? And he's called Mr Smart. He's about 29 year old. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me, mother? Uh, it's a bad line. Yes, I know you're ringing from Liverpool. Can you hear? Can you... Can you? Yes, it's it's technology. Yes, you wish you could have wrote. Yes, well, it's a new series using the mobile phone. This is new technology today, isn't it? Can you hear me, mother? For this series. Yeah. Right. You wanting some advice? Okay. Yes. Uh, I think it might run a lot cheaper if you get a seasonal ticket uh i don't know much about because I, I haven't been to football for for years myself uh whew, it must have been when i was very young uh i once saw george best playing at uh, this team uh, where i'm from and uh, i enjoyed it when i was a kid he was so close up to me, George Best, and he was there dribbling round them all and that, and they couldn't catch him and that. Uh, I didn't go to many football games, uh, but I was mad on football, even at a own football team. I was in school teams and that myself. Yes, Mr. Mister Smart, uh, I think that's my advice, is uh, get a seasonal ticket. I'm sure it would run uh, a lot cheaper for you. And then you're not having to, uh, you know, go out there and find that you might not hurt again because uh, there's too many people in that stand or something. I just don't know how, how, how they do it. I don't know whether you can, do you, do you pay on the day of these matches? It's so long since I've been to a football match. So, but uh, it just seems right to get a seasonal ticket, uh, Mr. Smart. Yes, Uh you want me to say one of the sayings? He's wanting me to say one of the sayings. And what's that, Mr Smart? He's breaking up. Can you hear me, mother? Can you hear me? He's breaking up. He's wanting me to say, hey, bye, gum, lad. Hey, bye, gum, lad. Hey, bye, gum. Bye, gum, lad. Is that OK, Mr Smart? Did you hear that? Just about, he says, just about. Well, thank you very much. And that's my advice. Get a seasonal ticket. Well, one, that's a good phone call, our first phone call from our series, Can You Hear Me Mother, on the mobile phone using new technology instead of paperwork and all that. Oh, I had thousands of letters. I had to move to this stately home. I've had to move away from stately home now. I'm not in the stately home now. Uh, I've just got a little cottage somewhere in Scotland, uh, near some woodland. And I don't have to uh, bother with uh, all that fan mail and thousands of, uh, of uh, oh, I had to employ staff and bosses and all sorts. And we moved to this haunted house and oh, I just couldn't get to sleep. Oh, why? 
Couldn't get to sleep with it haunted and banging and chains rattling, screams, kids riding on bikes down corridors. There were all sorts of spirits and things going off and ghosts in that haunted house. Oh, I was glad to leave. So I've got a nice little quiet place uh, in my cottage uh, near the woods and I can read a nice little good little book quietly, you know. Um, all I can hear outside is the birds singing and that, you know. So uh, that's where I am uh, today. Right, we'll get on with our second call. Who we've got today? We've got Mrs. Mrs. Greenaway. Hello, Mrs. Greenaway. What is it, Mrs. Green? You're breaking up, Mrs. Green. Yes, Mrs. Technology these days. She's ringing from Wales. Yes, Mrs. Green. Hello, Mrs. Greenaway. Yeah, she lives on a farm in Wales. And what is it we advise uh, Mrs. Greenaway? She bought this farm. But the thing is, when she bought the farm, yes, Mrs. Greenaway, you've got no animals. And the, when she bought it, the, the, there's no animals. What animals filled, would you say to start off with at this farm? And uh, what type of staff? Uh, do you need well Mrs Greenaway uh, I don't much know much about farming but I did watch a program called Green Green Grass it was a comedy do you remember it on ITV well the only experience I've got is from that program and I remember him getting a bowl oh yes he got a bowl so Mrs Greenaway get yourself a bowl and uh, I reckon some chickens uh, if you've got a, a pond, make a pond and have some ducks and that, start off there. Uh, you see, chickens, you can have your eggs, you know. And uh, I used to have a mate, uh, he always wanted a, a fat black belly pig. And his wife, he only had a little garden, but he always wanted a big fat belly black pig. And his wife wouldn't let him, they used to have trouble and that, and his wife wouldn't let him have a big fat belly pig so mr greenway get one of them and all get a big fat belly pig and uh, uh let's see what else maybe a horse get a horse and all just start off small and uh build up your farm and uh oh you'll need a sheep oh yeah that's it get some sheep get half a dozen sheep and uh, get get yourself a sheep dog uh get yourself a, a, a farm manager because in Green Green Grass they had a farm manager. Do you remember him? He used to say, I'm farm manager. Farm manager. And he used to carry this bag with him and loads of papers in it. And he used to say, farm manager on Green Green Grass. Oh, there were some characters in there. Yeah, get yourself uh, a farm manager. Uh, someone who will plough your fields. Uh, someone who's going to look after the uh, animals. So you lead out one or two staff. Uh, and get yourself a cook. Oh, do you remember the cook, uh, cleaning lady? Oh, get get yourself a cleaning lady. Do you remember cleaning lady in Green Green Grass? I think she was called Mrs. Kate Worthy. I love that name, Mrs. Kate Worthy. Kate Worthy. She she was a cleaner, but she never did out, did she? She never did no cleaning. Just sat around talking uh, uh, talking to them and that, didn't they? She I never saw her did any cleaning whatsoever. That was Mrs. Kate Worthy. Oh, I love that. I love that program. You can get it on uh, DVD. Go and get it. So, uh, yes, Mrs. Greenway. So, I hope that helped you. Yeah, you're breaking up now. <laughs> can you hear me, mother? Can you? <laughs> She's gone. It's gone. Uh, what that lovely, this new technology, though. It keeps breaking up, though, because they're so far away. Right, I've got another one. Uh, in America, yes, New York, and it's called Mr. Pipe. He smokes a lot of pipes. Hello, Mr. Pipe, can you hit? You'll have to speak up because you're coming from New York. Yes, Mr. Pipe. Yes, Miss. I... You're breaking up, Mr. Pipe. <laughs> He's breaking up, Mr. Pipe. New York, eh? New... Yes, Mr. Pipe, what is it you want, Mr. Pipe? Mr. Pipe, can you hear me, Mother? He thinks, 
He said, no, no. No, I'm not calling you. He said, I'm calling him a mother. He said, I'm not a woman. He's, he's getting a bit aggressive. No, 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 that's my series. That's my series. Can you hear me, mother? We're using technology, we're using the phone. Oh, bless him, bless him. What is it you want him, Mr. Pipe? He wants to know if he should visit uh, the Trade Centre, uh, the new Trade Centre, uh, what they've built, you know, the the the, the Trade Centre's what a tap want there, and uh, they've put a new Trade Centre building up, and he's wanting to, to know if he shall go and visit it, you know, but uh, since that disaster, he's always been scared, you know, of going in uh, high-rise buildings and stuff like that. He's just got a fear of buildings and he wants to know if, he wants to know if, uh, to to go to the new trade centre and see if he can get over the uh, fear of going in buildings since that disaster when the Twin Towers came down. Uh, Mr Pipe, yes, if you uh, go and visit uh, the new trade centre and just have a look round and that and uh, visit it, uh, uh, do it a few times and you 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 start to get rid of the fear of uh uh i can und i can understand that mr i i can understand that mr pipe yep yeah, i really can i really can understand it and uh, i hope you get on let, let, let. i said let uh, let me know okay bye 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 well that's another good phone call Oh, 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 can you hear me, mother? Won't it lovely? I'm going to have another drink of tea for this. Hope you've enjoyed this new series. There's going to be no cards pulled for this series. Going to be no cards whatsoever. Uh, I'll talk now and again on odd subject. Uh, if I feel that's uh, what I want you to know about. Uh, what I think I want... Uh, someone to know about is uh, support the people uh, who are going on strike young doctors civil servants care workers teachers uh, I know it's going to put us all out but just support them because at the end of the day they do hard work don't they all of them and uh, they need they need extra money don't they they need to live and uh, support the family and uh, you know they have to pay bills like all of us don't we and that you know and, uh, I agree with them all going on strike because that's the only way the government's gonna gonna realize you know uh, we need the, the wages going high you know and stop putting pension age up and all so it gives us time to retire because by the time half of us retire we're all popping off aren't we before we can draw the flipping pension stop putting the pension age up government keep it where it is because I, i'm nearly retirement i want my pension don't want him putting it up and then you, you can't reach it and draw it stop putting the pension age up and also bring the bring those uh gas bill and electric bills down and council tax and water and bring food uh, down in supermarkets <laughs> soaring out at roof you go for a few items you you get about 10 items don't you in a shop and uh, it costs you costs you f the, the earth doesn't it when you come out and you get him home and you bring your few items out of your bag and you think what have I paid for there's only about 10 items here oh yeah can you see me fruit at back of, back of me in Thor's corner that's what I want you to uh, encourage people. Cut out the pizzas, the burgers, the curries. Start eating healthy fruit. I've got. Can you see them there? I've got some bananas, some oranges. I'm starting having to eat uh, more fruit, and I think that's what uh, you ought you ought to do and all. Right. Have we got another on? Can you hear me, mother? Who we've got now? We've got Mr. Sky. Hello, Mr. Sky. Can you hear me? Where are you ringing from, Mr. Sky? Birmingham. 
All right, Mr. Sky, what is it you're wanting to know today? He's wanting to uh, learn how to fly a, a little plane, you know, he says, and get his, uh, uh, you know, license for for uh, flying a, a plane. He said he's got the uh, money and he wants to buy uh, a little plane. He says, uh, do you think I'm doing the right thing, uh, Phil? He's 80 odd though, he says, but he's a bit nervous of going up uh, in plane. Uh, yes, uh, my advice is uh, do that because it, it'll be good for you at that age and, that, and uh, get your license. It gives you something to do. And what a skill to fly. Uh, if you can fly in one of them small planes at that age, I think it's, it's very good on you. Well done on you. Well done on you. That goes for any, anybody out there who wants to do a hobby or interest or go to college. You're never too old. You're never too old to learn anything. No, you're not. Uh, so I want you to, uh, my fans out there, if there's any el el elderly people, go start learning a new skill. Go to college or something like that, you know. Right, I think we'll have one more uh Call on, can you hear me, mother? Can you hear me, mother? Who we got online? Oh, we've got uh, some Chelsea fans. Uh, hello, hello, you're, you're getting ready, f yeah, yeah. We're getting ready for the Chelsea game, that uh, or something, or, or some, uh, I don't know much. How many is he, uh, Chelsea fans? Yes, yeah, said there's about six of them. And what's your name was on the end of this form? He's got Richard. Uh, and uh, have you been doing well this year? Because I, I haven't been following football this year. You, Chelsea's not been doing too bad, yeah. You think that they still could need a few more players? Well, don't all teams need a few good new players, yeah. Yeah. You go every week, you go to a pub, have a bit of a meal and a bite to eat, and they also go to a pub afterwards. Well, they seem to all enjoy themselves, don't they, lads? As long as you're not getting into trouble, and when you come out at pub shouting and bawling your head off or kicking some bin over or something, when you come out at pubs and that, or you're all behaving yourself down in Chelsea, you know, don't, you know, don't give football a bad name. Uh, Make sure you're all behaving yourself there, and uh, great on your lads. Uh, gives you gives you something to do Saturday afternoon, and get up after you've worked all week, don't you? And all mates get together and that, and you go and go and see football and that. A lot of them do that on Saturdays, don't they? Really, they go to a pub and then uh, spend all afternoon uh, watching football. Some of them go to a pub after, and then they go home and get the tea and that, don't they? And then. And they're settling down to watch uh, TV. Yeah, that's the that's the life of a British man. It really is. That's the life as a of a British man. Football, drink, cigarettes, <laughs> or oh, women. Women. I think women's just not too far off from that list. <laughs> okay, thank you, Chelsea lads. Uh, that was a very good year on. Can you hear me, mother? Thank you very much. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, you and we'll see if we can do uh, another one of these. Uh, hope you've enjoyed this. Can you hear me, mother? And it's bye bye from Jimmy Joe. You still reading that Peter Rabbit book? He wants to buy another book. Well, I, 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 I'll see. <laughs> I'll see if I can afford it. And what books are you after? He's wanting Thomas the Tank Engine. He said he loves Thomas the Tank Engine book. And he just want one. Yes, and it's a day one. What you're after, I've noticed it. Uh, I've seen it in Waterstones. But I'll, I'll see what I can do for him. He said he hopes so. He's getting a bit bored of Peter Rabbit. Are you getting bored of Peter Rabbit? That cost me an arm and a leg for that. Catch you later. Bye. 
think I'll have a nod off after all that. <laughs>